Um, so um, for this demo, what we've done is we've simulated a manufacturing use case. And for this manufacturing use case, let's let's take um, a manufacturer who wants to automate their QA and QC process. And so they're manufacturing a bunch of parts um, that go through the assembly line, and they want a computer vision model running on a web camera um, and being able to detect whether or not there is any defects um, that happen in the manufacturing process. So what we did um, behind you, you'll see some some 3D little uh, 3D printed gears that Seth created. Again, he's a jack of all trades; he has everything in that office. Um, and he manually made some defects that I'll, I'll, you'll see in more detail in a little bit. And um, you know, what we did is we captured a bunch of data, we imported that into Label Studio, we manually labeled it, and then we trained a custom YOLO5 model, detection model. With that, we followed the same process I, I demonstrated earlier. We containerized it with chassis, we deployed it to our, our central model ops platform. In this case, um, you know, Modsy is being hosted in the AWS um, US West um, region in Northern California. We've taken the model, deployed it to um, Seth Jets and Nano that you see behind him. And as you can see that plate spinning, what we'll do is, is input that video stream in real time and then um, generate an output stream with the, de the detections rendered you know, on, on each image frame. And I'm gonna um, spin up a simple web application and, and show you what that looks like again from my laptop here in Philly. So let me switch over to my browser again. And this time let's click, let's go to the defect model here. Um, so again, uh, deploy my model into Modsy. We can see some more metadata here, including some performance metrics we captured from the training experiment. Um, I mentioned we uploaded our data to Label Studio. So just so you can see what this data looks like. Here's a sample of some of our training data. And if I click on this, we can see some of the labels. Um, we, we basically detect, um, identified three classes of defects, what we'll call broken teeth, um, a dent, and then a scratch, which you'll see in the, in the demo portion of this. And then as I mentioned, we just simply built a container image and the output of a chassis experiment looks exactly like this. It's just a container that again, I can run anywhere. So took this, deployed it in Mozzie, added some metadata. Let's go over to our device group again. And, um, and this time we created a different device group for this application. You'll notice I actually deployed both versions that we've developed for this particular model. Um, this allows you to do you know, live bake-offs. Um, you can visually kind of understand how different models are performing, uh, in addition to capturing some, some monitoring data you know, as relevant. Now, one thing we didn't talk about um, in the first demo is how to actually take models from Modsy and deploy them onto a device. And I think this partially covers one of the questions um, that was asked. We've got our container um, you know, sitting in Modsy. All I need to do is select my target um, device type. In this case, we're going to a, a Jetson Nano, which has an ARM chip, and I generate commands here. So with three lines of code, all I, all I can do is, is run these lines of code on the device, and that automatically will take care of syncing and downloading the model from Modsy. It requires a one-time internet connection, or, or, or network connection rather, and then you can um, run that model disconnected on that device forever. Um, and so with three, these three lines of code, that's all it took. We spun it up and we were, we're running that model on Seth's Jets and Nano. Um, now, you can automate this further to send this exact type of configuration out to an entire fleet of devices. Um, so, you know, it's not a, a, there are ways to automate this and kind of incorporate this into custom scripts. Um, okay, so let me kick off this Flask app real quick. All right, so now if I go to this tab and refresh this, well, we can see are some of these predictions in real time, as I mentioned. So you can see that spinning, and what we're looking at, you saw Seth's finger, <laughs> and you can see kind of the, these predictions. Now, you could build a much more sophisticated um, you know, dashboard for the operator to aggregate these results, to, to see different views across different assembly lines within the factory, you know, something that can help, um, you know, the, the lives and the efficiency of those factory workers day to day. Um, something that, that can automate the detection of defects so that they can then manually inspect them. Um, so just one example, uh, again, that, that can be scaled out really, you know, across any number of cameras and, and factories, et cetera. 